Hi there. Uh, thank you all for your support for Miss Luna and myself. It's been absolutely amazing, and I really appreciate it. As most of you know, she is my world, and then some. She's been my inspiration to become a trainer um, and to work with animals. And um, <clears throat> we're really hoping for the best. I just wanted to say a big, big thank you, and I want to show you kind of what's happening with Miss Luna Spa. Okay, so we're just working on some calmness training <clears throat> here. We've actually had to leave our house because they're doing an open house. So uh, I've got Freddie, George, and Bear. We've been doing some calmness training. So Luna's nice and calm, but this is what um, a normal male would look like. I know you don't want me to touch it. It comes out from the bone and <clears throat> it curves out. So what happened with Luna is this nail here broke and it broke and when it breaks it's usually like a little kind of weird fleshy um, almost looks like a little bit of a worm and it's the quick of the nail and that was out and it wasn't growing back so what typically happens is it will be almost like a little worm and then the nail comes out and it grows out over top of the quick um, and grows around the quick and it heals and it's fine and you just keep it clean and dry. So we went to the vet, um, she's had a few rounds of antibiotics and anti-inflammatories um, over the week to try to, or weeks, um, actually been a couple months now trying to figure out at first, okay, is it infective? What is it? Um, now it's quite large, but at first it was just tiny, tiny, like a little worm, her quick, and then the nail wasn't growing back. So there's a lot of speculation. What's, you know, does she have autoimmune disease? What is it? Why the nail isn't growing back? Uh, <clears throat> and then um, it didn't really grow back. The nail itself, just this sort of white, hard, um, sort of mem not even a membrane, but this. And it's very, very hard. So this feels like, oh, I'm sorry, Bear. She's going to hide it. She doesn't want me to touch it. Um, it. Okay, okay, okay. I won't touch it. So typically this is what, as you know, mm -hmm. I won't touch it anymore. Okay. Um, so um, what started happening is it started to grow larger and larger. And we tried to get, no, the vet tried to get a biopsy um, and couldn't get the needle. They call it a needle aspiration where they put in a needle and they pull out fluid, so they couldn't do that. So they put on another round of different antibiotics and different anti-inflammatories, were able to get some fluid out, <clears throat> did x-rays, and the fluid came back that she has melanoma. So melanoma, as you know, is skin cancer, and the, I know, sweet pea, I know. And um, <clears throat> it grows quite rapidly, and... Um, Oh, that's your other paw. That's your good paw. <laughs> don't, don't smack mummy. Um, it grows quite rapidly. And um, <clears throat> so we had our lip moods tested. Your lip moods go up into the arm or into the legs. And then obviously under her chin, just like us as well. And so those came back inconclusive because they're really hard to get at. Um, so now on Monday, what's going to happen is they're going to take her toe right here. So they're, go <laughs> they're going to take her, okay, okay, I won't touch it anymore. She's going to take the toe, basically this one, and then what they do is they search, search her, I know, suture them together. Yes, I know, cheeky cheeky. And they suture them together and then uh, she will have a suture. So that's the best case scenario, is that she has toe removed. It's a front toe, so it's going to be hard for healing. And um, because of the weight bearing, um, they can sometimes reopen it, the stitches. And then she's most likely going to get something which is called a melanoma vaccine. And it's not a vaccine, it's basically a cancer treatment. So that's what we're going to be doing with Miss Bear. Hey, girl. That's the treatment plan, but that's what her toe
who looks like. I won't show you again because she doesn't want me to. Um, but that's what we're going to do. That's the game plan. So thank you all for your support. It means a lot. And excuse me, you don't dig into kibble. Hey, 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 that's not even yours. Naughty, naughty.